Hi K4, Miss Buckley here. The next story is called Probably Pistachio by Stuart Murphy. It was Monday and nothing was going right. My alarm clock didn't go off. I tripped over my dog, pirate, and banged my knee. Whoops. With mum, Mondays mean it's probably pastrami, and pastrami is my favourite food in the whole world. But with dad, you never know. It could be ham and cheese. It could be peanut butter and jelly. It could even be tuna fish. I hate tuna fish. Hurry up, Jack. The school bus is here. Thanks, Dad. I love tuna fish. When I got to school, all I could think about was pastrami. Then I remembered that Emma has a pastrami sandwich just about every day. Last week, she had pastrami every day but Thursday. In math class, I was so busy thinking about Emma's sandwiches, I didn't hear the teacher call my name. And then I had to copy my homework over again because it was too soggy. Emma's usual lunches. Monday pastrami, Tuesday pastrami, Wednesday pastrami, Thursday soup, and Friday pastrami. Hmm. By the time I made it to lunch, there was only one seat left right next to Emma. Maybe my luck was changing. Want to trade lunches, I asked. I've got tuna fish. Great, Emma said right away. I love tuna fish. Ah, liverwurst. You never brought liverwurst before. I know, Dad fixed lunch today. After school, I went to soccer practice with my best friend, Alex. I love soccer, so I didn't think anything could go wrong. Coach usually has us count off like this. One, two, one, two. Then we split up into two teams and play a practice game. Alex and I always make sure there's somebody standing between us in line so we'll be on the same team. Then Coach said, We're going to try something new. Today, kids, let's count off by threes. So we'll have three small groups to practice kicking and passing. I tried to switch with Chris so I'd still be on Alex's team. After practice, coach always gives us snack. Today, he dumped some bags of pretzels and crackers into a big basket. He put in a few bags of popcorn too. Next to pastrami, popcorn is my favourite food in the whole world. Coach held the basket up high while we all took turns picking. I saw Alex grab a bag of popcorn. I hope there might be enough popcorn left for me. When I got to the front of the line, I was still hoping for popcorn. Hurry up and pick, Jack, Coach said. I quickly grabbed a bag. It was pretzels. I couldn't believe it. Next to tuna fish and liverwurst, pretzels are my least favourite food. What else can go wrong today? I love popcorn. Whoosh! By the time I got home, I was starving. I mean, I'd hardly had any breakfast because I'd been rushing around. I sure hadn't eaten Emma's liverwurst sandwich and I saved my bag of pretzels for pirate. So when I walked in and the whole house smelled like pizza, I got really excited. 
Next to pastrami and popcorn, pizza is my favourite food in the whole world. Dad was standing in the kitchen stirring something in a big pot on the stove. Are we having pizza, I asked. You know it's not pizza night, Dad answered. I'm making spaghetti on meatballs. Why can't we have pastrami pizza sometime? Mum rushed in while I was setting the table. I have a surprise, she said. I stopped at Frosty's on my way home from work. I scream for dessert, Rebecca yelled. Way to go, Mum. I got your favourite, Mum said. Whose favourite, I asked suspiciously, but she didn't hear me. Rebecca's favourite is chocolate. Now everybody knows what my favourite is. I mean, next to pastrami and popcorn and pizza, pistachio ice cream is my favourite food in the whole world. Mum reached in and pulled out a tub of ice cream. Thanks, Mum, Rebecca grinned. You're the greatest. I couldn't wait for this terrible day to be over. I'm going to bed. Hey, what's this, Mum said. She reached into the bag again. I think there's another tub in here. What do you suppose it could be? Probably pistachio. And this time I was right. Finally things were looking up. Maybe tomorrow I'd even get pastrami for lunch.